Now to some disturbing news. Kenyans continue to struggle with economic survival. As a recent report said, 14 million Kenyans have been listed with the dreaded Credit Reference Bureau CRB. This means that they have been blacklisted and hence will have limited access to credit facilities for business growth. The youth, though, are feeling the sting as the situation was worsened by COVID-19 pandemic. Take a look. The blacklisted accounts jumped by a significant 45% in the five months between August and January after the Central Bank of Kenya lifted a three-month moratorium. Data by Metropole, one of the three licensed CRBs alongside TransUnion and Credit Info International, show that the number of loans accounts in areas for more than 90 days had jumped to 14 million by January this year, up from 9.6 million in August 2020. This illustrates the grim economic situation that was occasioned by job losses and business closures. Nilikuwa nimeomba ya rufu mbili na nililipa lakini ili nisumbua sana kwa sababu hiyo ya rufu mbili wakati nilikopa nilimekopa tii hii wakati kumekuwa na hii musimu ya corona. Sasa tukua tunapata pesa, sasa hata kwenye unafanya kazi kapikipiki kakakata mafuta nikua tukua barabara. Nikaona... Nikajaribu kufikiria venye naweza pata dona siku ana kitu kwa mfuko. Niliopti kuingia kwa simu yangu nikakopa 2000 kwa tara. Wakanipea. Nikajaribu hata niliita pikipiki nyingine ikakimbia kuniendea mafuta ndo ikanifaurisha. And as this happens, mobile money lenders have in the recent past been under fire from the regulators for sharing defaulters data. New CBK data shows that the value of loans defaulted hit 423 billion shillings or 14.1% of the total 3 trillion shillings loan book, a sharp rise from 351.73 billion shillings that was in default by the end of March 2020. With slow business recovery and jobs being hard to come by, affordable and flexible payment terms for loans could be the saving grace. And we hope that situation will be resolved soon. Let's go to agriculture.